So the entire Web3 landscape is about to change thanks to a new loyalty platform launched by Visa that will allow brands to create custom branded crypto wallets. Yes, they did choose a particular blockchain platform to make this happen. We're going to break down which chain that is. But I also want to show you how this is going to open up opportunities for other assets as well that have been working on this exact same thing for years some of you may have seen paul barron's coverage on this but i want to dive a little bit deeper but if you happen to miss that let's dive into the details visa has revealed a new web3 loyalty engagement solution designed to meet modern consumers evolving digital needs offering immersive experiences like gamified rewards augmented reality treasure hunts and novel ways to utilize loyalty points so this is coming from years of nft research that visa has been doing and kathleen gilmore their senior vp she actually highlighted a change in consumer behavior over the last few years especially since 2020 that's actually opening the door for this she states that consumers are looking to engage with brands in new ways and traditional loyalty programs have not evolved over the past decade. Imagine earning a unique digital collectible, whether it's from purchasing tickets for a sports event or participating in an augmented reality treasure hunt. What she's indicating is it's time for a change. Funny story here. As a matter of fact, you may be familiar with Myers and their M perks reward system. So somebody just got uh He's going to be gone for a pretty long time, but he hacked the Imperks reward system, started selling phony Imperks accounts for crypto. All right. So not only is evolution needed, we need to update these systems so that this doesn't happen to people again. All right. I like Imperks. It's a very efficient system. It's messed up, man. But what we can expect from Visa's platform, let's turn our attention back to that. It's explicitly aimed at brands looking to evolve their loyalty rewards program. The platform introduces digital collectibles as a core feature, diverging from traditional point-based systems like Imperks. Customers can earn, redeem, and collect these digital assets, which can be interacted with in augmented reality, located on maps, and used in various other interactive forms, enhancing the depth of the loyalty program experience. It also features the ability for brands to develop custom branded wallets with a two click registration process aimed at simplifying user engagement. Thus, we can start seeing brand affiliated Web3 wallets hitting the marketplace in the very near future. So we're talking about a Doritos Web3 wallet, Taco Bell, um, Sam's Club, Walmart, like it, the, the possibilities are really limitless. When you look at all of the companies that are already involved in Visa's uh, network on just on the card network here, this is going to allow again for simple registration process. And when we dive into the technology that they're using, it's called Smart NFT Protocol. It's contributed to them from Smart Media Technologies. And this is where we get introduced to Block V and the V token. This protocol reportedly allows for the creation and emission of NFTs, intelligent NFTs, that can be dynamically minted to a number of leading blockchains. This means that it doesn't rely on a single chain, but can operate across multiple blockchains providing flexibility and broad compatibility now when i read that i immediately ran to their white paper because i needed to know how much interoperability are we talking about here first thing that shocked me bitcoin litecoin and ethereum ethereum not a surprise litecoin is there something you guys know that we don't and then the conversation of bitcoin the only thing I can think about is the future implications of BRC20s and the ordinals. Now, I'm still in the process of digging into them because it's causing a stir within the Bitcoin community. It's a bit of separation, but this is the utility. I'm on seeing utility come to Bitcoin. I'm on whatever side of the team that is, right? And if this protocol, and we'll, let's take a look at what it looks like on CoinMarketCap. If this protocol here has partnered with Visa and they have the ability to create fan engagement type experiences using Bitcoin technology. Then we have a real game changer here. One of those hidden gems, like they say. As a matter of fact, when you look at CoinMarketCap and you look at the VEE token, that's the ticker symbol. Yes, you'll see we're up 500% over the last 24 hours. And yeah, if I landed a deal this big with Visa, I would expect my token to be going crazy. So much so that CoinMarketCap didn't even have time to record the data. So on their website, you find out 
50 million dollar market cap 24 hour volume we're peaking at 5 million but the very crucial thing to remember is that the v token must be used for all projects within the system so once it does get that mainstream exchange listing look out for vee i'll tell you coinbase likes to list these types of projects that come out of nowhere they did the same thing with uh rally was one of them jasmine was one when it first started to hit the market so keep your eyes out for vee Right now, you can get it mainly on DEXs, Uniswap, Suchi, and uh, Bittrex seems to be the biggest centralized exchange that you can get the token. But everything is still in very early stages. Keep that in mind, too. This is massive volatility. This 500% it just gained, it could lose it. It could lose it in a matter of a week because nobody didn't hear any follow-up stories. That's why we got to look at the chains that have already been established that have been focused in this direction for a number of years. So I got a list of Visa Web3 wallet winners that I think are going to benefit in the short to long term, uh, short to medium term, more specifically from this new uh, product on the market, starting with Polygon. All right. The work that they've done with Starbucks cannot go underestimated. OK. Because now, on top of the collections that they've already had, they're launching a new one this month in South Korea. But there's something they've been working on since 2022 called Starbucks Odyssey. Now, they've opened whitelisting for this platform, but this thing literally matches the description of what we just read Visa is offering to all of these companies, right? So Starbucks Odyssey is described as a next level opportunity for Starbucks reward members in the U.S. that allows you to purchase digital collectible stamps, also known as NFTs, earn points, unlock new benefits and has interactive coffee experiences. So the AR augmented reality, you're walking around town, there's a Starbucks shop, you pull out your phone in front of the shop, there's a coin, you collect a coin, you go into the shop, free coffee. That's exactly how this is going to play out now. Another question, another thing that stood out to me, do you need a crypto wallet for this? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, you can actually get these NFTs with your credit or debit card. And I can bet you any amount of money, it's a Visa one. So another asset we need to keep our eyes on, Disney, Pinnacle, their NFT platform. Now this is new to the market. I hear it was supposed to launch last month. But they have open whitelisting. You can sign up for the account here so that way you can get early access. The setup here, though, you have licensed Disney NFTs, a one click sign up process, thanks to the collaboration with the Flow blockchain. And you can also purchase NFTs with fiat. You don't need crypto. So they're coming into the market with the removing that initial barrier. And I think that's what's going to cause a cascading effect. Now, when it comes to Theta, Chili's, and Tezos, they are definitely the older OGs in the space. But one to watch, for example, is the Theta Network, Sony NFTs, numerous NFT patents, and they have multiple partnerships with companies from the entertainment side, gaming. They've already done work with Samsung and Sony creating NFTs for their customers. So again, they've been at this for years. A lot of people sleep on Theta because it may not move as loudly as some other projects on the price chart, but they're building guys and they're building out products that the market is now ready for. I'm going to point this out to you. So under ecosystem enterprise validators, one of their relationships is blockchain.com. Now, I don't know about you, but I've seen blockchain.com in many sporting venues this year more frequently than I did before. Dallas, the Cowboys? Oh yeah, that's one of them. But my thinking is, if they're, if blockchain.com themselves is marketing in these venues, what's stopping them from creating applications using already established blockchain relationships? It would be Theta in this situation. And I can guarantee you, the payment system, the processor, it's gonna be Visa. But Tezos and Chili's, guys, when it comes to real OGs, yeah, like I said, these two platforms have been around for the longest. Now, when it comes to Tezos, their main focus is sports collectibles and music. As a matter of fact, I want to say in 2022, their music platform, one of, had provided swag bags and digital collectibles for the Grammys. It was very impressive. I never saw anything like that. And then after that, 
it was mainly sports relationships the biggest one being manchester united you know and on that note that brings us to the last og chain when it comes to fan engagement loyalty programs it's chili's i'm gonna tell you about chili's until i leave this market because they came first with the socios platform and up until this point there's been no hacks there's been no complaints about people receiving their rewards as a matter of fact people are winning tickets to major league soccer championship games right through the platform and socios was one of the first to incorporate augmented reality experiences where you can go around your town or go around the sporting venue and collect different coins to unlock even more rewards rewards so we're talking about free jerseys here so you don't think a company like Nike, Adidas, uh, Reebok, Gatorade, you don't think any of these Under Armour, they don't want to do anything like that? Another advantage that Chili's has is that now they're working with their own chain. That's going to give them a lot more flexibility. As a matter of fact, when I went to their website, I saw a disclaimer that was focused at U.S. customers. That's new and it stands out because... They wouldn't need to do that if they didn't have plans on coming to the U.S. They already have established relationships with NFL franchises, the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Giants. Like they've been putting in their work here. So I think that this Visa Web3 wallet that will allow brands to create these brand new loyalty experiences are going to open up the market open up opportunities for these chains specifically because this is where they've been for the last three four years and then something else i'm gonna layer on top of this guys we got the olympics coming up and i don't know about you but i'm expecting to see a lot of new loyalty programs a lot of marketing promotion branding around the olympics mcdonald's will be one oh just wait until mcdonald's gets involved with this you don't think they will <laughs> like for real but that's the news ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think down in the comments again the point is older projects they've been building applications that the market is now ready for and this is definitely an indicator of that so if you're looking to grab some crypto i'm getting mine on uphold right now make sure you check that out links in the description and with that i want you to have a great day have a prosperous day and always remember if the money is digital so is the hustle